for episode 4 of Final Fantasy 1. Last episode, we defeated the Dark Elf King and later found out that apparently he had stolen the Elf Prince crown and the Witch's eye, uh, Matoya's eye, there you go. <laughs> and we uh, accidentally ended up helping all of them by running into a dungeon head first. After doing that, we did a bit of exploring, found the dwarves' village, and found out that they're looking for some stuff here as well. Actually, I have a list. Let me check real quick, because we got a bunch of stuff to do, I think. Actually, no, we finished most of them last episode. Uh, so we got the Crystal Eye from the Dark Elf King. There's a dwarf in here that's looking for a Love Stone. Then... We have to deliver the crown, which I don't think we've delivered yet, right? Where's our item? Uh, key item, sorry. Yeah, we gotta deliver this crown to some part in the west. Uh, we gotta get adamantite for a magic sword uh, for the smithy in this cave over here. And right now we have nitro pow powder for Nerik and Mount Dwergar over here as well. I did do, I guess, grinding in between episodes. Not really. I started to doing, I started to do it, and then I just gave up halfway because I, I just couldn't be bothered. Uh, everyone leveled up one level, and that's all that happened. Not really incredible levels. I think maybe, maybe Seal got a good level. I think they got speed and attack, and I think Seren got luck and strength. Maybe everyone else got pretty bad level ups. I think. But yeah, that's all that happened in between episodes. So let's jump right into things and find out what uh, what they need this nitro powder for. Oh yeah, let me turn on encounters as well before I forget. Who needed nitro powder? Was it you? Ali Ho, nope. Was it, no, you're the Adam and Tyke guy. Oh yeah, I just remembered last episode we also fought some demons. That was wild. I think it's the guy over here. Oh, I never came in here. What is wrong with me? Oh yeah, last episode we also got the mystic key. That's what happened. And we unlocked a bunch of treasure things. Yeah, we got like a whole bunch of cool weapons now. <laughs> most of which we won't be using because we got better weapons than, than most of them from other mystic door treasures. But yeah, that happened last episode. Let's see what's in here. A tent, I'll take that. Great Helm. Ooh, what are you? Can anybody else use that? Not you. I doubt you. And I doubt you as well. Okay, good. Uh, Racist Defense two more times, but lowers evasion. That's fine. We're so freaking tanky. Worm Cap- Oh, isn't that like a dragon killer weapon? I remember seeing that in multiple Final Fantasy games before. Or, I think it might also be in Fire Emblem and other RPG-like games. Uh, who can use Worm Killer? Item description, effective against dragons. I was right, it is effective against dragons. Is it better than your, oh, actually, it's better than both of your weapons. Ooh, I wanna give them, hmm, it's plus one. It's plus one for both of them. Now let's give it to ourselves. Cause I mean, we're the one to, that's gonna be most likely to survive anything and everything. So, you know. Okay, so now we got a dragon killing weapon. Ether. Oh my gosh, our first ether, right? I don't think we have a single ether to our name. <laughs> yeah, our very first ether. Potion, I'll take that. Mithril mail. Oh, we already know who's gonna be able to use that, right? Yep, the only one that can use it. Oh, but, oh, but it lowers defense. Okay, that's not worth it. <laughs> Iron armor is still our best, best thing, apparently. Hmm, kind of disappointing. I need to remember to read the item descriptions for everything uh, when we finish this series. Just to see if there's any interesting lore or anything. Uh, money, I'll take that. And a cottage, I'll take that as well. Are you the one who needed it? Nitro powder. The explosive force in this powder will have... Oh yeah, you guys are the ones with the accents. <laughs> I forgot. The explosive powder in this... Wait. The explosive force in this powder will have my canal open in no time flat. I owe ye barn, bar, barns. I don't even know what that is. There we go. 
No, we can blast this rock to smithereens. Oh, now we can blast this rock to smithereens. That's what he meant. With, with are you standing around for? The powder set to blow. Unless you plan on going with it, you best get oh, you best get oh while you still can. This accent is gonna be the death of me. <laughs> I, I, I just cannot. Oh. Okay, was not expecting it to be that bad. Oh. Oh! We can explore! Yay! We can finally leave this, I guess, lake? I mean, it technically might be a, an ocean, I don't know. But yeah, we can finally leave the small the small water area over here with our boat. We got so much exploring to do now. I cannot wait to see what lies out there beyond that canal. Okay. Thanks, buddy. Wait, did anything? Okay, nothing even changed over there. The world is finally open to us, and we still haven't even explored the rest of the eastern area, have we? I'm guessing that's open to us, right? Okay. Oh, yeah, I forgot I turned on encounters. Uh, I'm gonna turn them off again, because it's just gonna be a whole bunch of these weak guys. Oh, yeah, that's why we didn't explore the rest of this area, because <laughs> it's locked off by the mountains. Okay, so we can't do anything over here. Uh, was there anything up here? Mm, just more land. Okay, time to explore the world. Uh, let's turn on encounters and see what unique encounters are over here. If any. More sharks, never mind. Oh, by the way, I've been checking the bestiary that's in the home menu of, uh, of this game. And it actually gives us a whole ton of info on enemies. Uh, gives us location, weaknesses, item drops, uh, money drops. It gives us so much info. It's pretty helpful. Uh, I might try to actually complete my bestiary if I'm able to. Uh, it might take us a while to do it though. So we'll see how things go. But I probably won't do that till like the end of the game. All right, first new town in the, oh. Oh, this music. How do I think about it? I'm pretty sure this is just a regular theme that plays in all the towns we've been in so far, but I feel like I've heard this in other games as well. Maybe I'm just imagining things, I don't know. Uh, so do you guys have an issue or... Actually, let me check what spells you have so far first. Oh my god, of course it's 4,000. Uh, Kiraga, <gasps> Life, Diaga, or Hilara. Okay, so obviously Hilara. Obviously, Kiraga and maybe life. I'll have to think about that one because I mean we can we can just buy Phoenix Downs uh, What do you have for black mage spells? You got Firaga? Yes, please Scourge or Scourge. I don't know Instantly kills all enemies probably never works. So I'm definitely not getting that Teleport transport the party to the previous floor. Oh, okay Yes, just wait Hell cannot learn why? Oh, sh okay, that scared me. But why can't I learn teleport? I can learn scourge and fire up, but not teleport. It's a level five spell. Okay, I looked it up real quick and I, I didn't actually look into it because I didn't want to get spoiled. But first thing I found is apparently it's like a side quest thing. So I'm not going to worry about that for now. Oh, actually, let's check the item shop. Hopefully it's not ex expensive as the, uh, as, you know, everything else we just saw. Uh, you got a long sword. It's not that good, but I might as well take it just so I have every item, right? Have I been buying every item so far? I don't think I have, but whatever. What do you have for, ar oh my god. Knight's armor. That's expensive. Oh, that's gonna be all my <laughs> life savings down the drain. Wait, we didn't get... Oh, we didn't get the silver armlets because it was actually something we found. Okay. Uh, let's get the silver armlets for our mages. This pains me, but I do need it. I really wish I could get this. Defense 34. How 
good is that, actually? Is that, like, extremely better than what we have? Oh, it is. That's ten times... I mean, ten plus more defense. Oh, I wish I could get that. Okay. Ooh, that's a huge defense raise. Yes, please. Thank you. Okay, so I can't... Oh, that looks like a unique NPC. Okay, but yeah, um... Let me talk to everyone and see what's happening in this town. I'm definitely gonna have to grind money now. I really don't want to, though. Stop by my father's shop, okay? Okay. If the earth crystal regains its glow, life will return to the earth. The hills and valleys will again be green. Restore the crystals to grace. The vampire- Ooh, vampire! We actually got vampires in this? Oh, I can't wait to see who it is. The vampire attack, destroying our church and leaving our city in shambles. Is there nothing we can do to stop the re re ruination to the earth? Of the earth, sorry. <laughs> Restore the crystals to grace, okay. I'm just a farmer. <laughs> okay, I didn't ask, but all right. In the cave on the southern tip of this continent lives a man named Sada. He is a wise man who knows much. South Southern tip. I need to go. Remember to go there. What's is my name? I've come all the way from Dwarga to find out the spring hide of Earth's Decay. Okay. I've heard that the ancients possessed something with the power to make ships float in the sky. Oh, is it skyship time? Maybe. Long ago, a prosperous civilization thrived in the Northland. Now it's fallen into ruin. Unfortunate. The giant living in the cave eats rocks. He'll eat just about any kind of rock. But I hear especially likes gems. He can't get enough of them. The earth is decaying and it's all the doing of the vampire that lives in the cavern of Earth. Our town is in such rotten shape because he's blocking the flow of the power of Earth. Will you stop him for us? Sure. The cavern of Earth is to the south of Melmond, on a peninsula called the Devil's Tale. I should be writing most of this down because we just got a whole ton of info. It used to be the closer you got to that cave, the more fertile the soil. Now, now it's a barren waste. It's a gravestone. Okay, last person we need to talk to. Une. There's nothing I, the great genius Dr. Une, do not know. What? You never heard of me? Inconceivable. Okay, so far we have... The Cavern of Earth is to the south of Melmond, on a peninsula called Devil's Tale. Uh, that's where the vampire is at that we have to defeat, apparently. There's a, a dwarf named Watts lives over here that's trying to figure out what's going on with the earth crystal. In the cave on the southern tip lives a man named Sada. A uh, giant lives in a cave that eats any type of rock, and Dr. Una is here. Okay, that's some info to go off of now. So, let's leave this place. I'm gonna go look for... I think that there's... I mean, I think I'm gonna go look for Sada first. Oh, new enemies! Lesser Tiger. Oh, they didn't go down in one hit. Wild. So, enemies are starting to get tougher, and I didn't heal. Let me go heal real quick. How expensive is the inn over here? Okay, it's just 100 gil. That's not too bad. Oh, actually, I forgot to go into the ruins of the church. Let me do that. Oh, never mind. It's just... I can't do anything in there. Cool. Uh, since there isn't a church nearby, I should probably get life right now. Oh, dang. This is gonna hurt me. Here we go. We got life. Yay. Okay, now back to looking for Sada. Okay, we still got wolves over here. Apparently, that sucks. Oh. Is this the... The cape? The thing? Giant's cave. Oh, this is the giant's cave. Are there encounters here? Okay, there are encounters here, so we might have to fight the... the thing. Hello. You shall not pass. Okay. So, can't do anything here right now. At least we know... Oh, there's an exit over there. Okay, interesting. This is the Devil's Tale, I'm pretty sure, because it looks like looks like a Devil's Tale. 
So I'm guessing the vampire and the earth crystal is somewhere around here. I was hoping to find um, Sada, but I don't mind going to Mr. Vampire, I guess. Hopefully he's not too tough for us. There's the cave. Ooh, shadows. Have I faced you before? I don't think I have. Are you guys resistant to physical attacks? You might be. No, you're not. Never mind. Okay, so this is the Cavern of Earth. Hopefully this doesn't take too long to do. Here we go. Oh, the god, this is a maze. Uh, oh wait, we have the mini, <laughs> mini map, so we should be fine. Uh, there's multiple doors. There's nothing over here. There's one door up there. Uh, ladder, stairs down there, so I guess that's where we're supposed to go. So, let's go up to that first and see what's in the room. As long as... Ah, dang it, I was just about to say, as long as we're not dealing with poison anymore, we should be fine. But here they are, anacondas. Just what I wanted to see. I guess I should have expected that, considering it's like a desert-like area right now. Oh, cool. More monsters. Oh, what are... Earth Elemental. Hello. 217, that's a lot of damage. And it's still not dead. Okay, there we go. It has like about 300 or 400 HP, it seems. Okay. Oh, that's, uh, that's a lot of money. Okay. Uh, we got some mummies. These should be easy enough. I don't think they have poison, but they might have paralysis. Oh yeah, I forgot. Mummies are the ones that can put us to sleep for some reason. Oh, those mummies gave us a ton of EXP and gill, actually. Wow. Uh, Arizon leveled up. Got agility. That's disappointing. That's the only thing you got. Okay, seal, got agility, stamina, ugh, intellect, okay. Uh, Seren got strength, stamina, luck, I'll take those. Uh, really, nothing on fail. Have we faced Cobras before? I don't remember. I feel like we might have. More monsters. Hooray! Oh yeah, I forgot. <laughs> Earth Elemental. Okay, hopefully this goes well. That's about 200. Still not dead. I wasn't paying attention to how much damage it did to us. Got a potion, sure. 880 gil, nah, I'll take that. Money is money. Here we go, more monsters. Yep, just what I thought. Oh, actually, this thing did pretty decent damage. Did 74 damage to our Sir to Seren. That's kind of wild. But it didn't have anything unique to it, so I guess it's all right. Got more money, and more monsters. Cool.
Oh, more bats. Oh wait, you guys might actually be bad since you're this is like a vampire dungeon technically. Actually, what's the map looking like? Okay, so we got Oh wow, this is becoming more and more of a maze. So the exit's over there. There's one room over there with a door. And one down there, so I have to go up here, down here, uh, around there. Oh, hello. New enemies, minotaurs. Oh, never mind, that was easy. Okay, so you guys have like 200 HP then. Oh, Hill Gigas. Oh no. I feel like I remember the these being super strong and annoying enemies in in other games. This doesn't sound fun. Oh boy. Also, look at those fucking packs. Hello, my guy. What are you doing out here? Okay, that wasn't too bad. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, I completely got distracted. <laughs> like... I, I was not paying attention to how much damage they did to us, or how much HP they have. <laughs> oh cool, didn't get immediately attacked by monsters. Oh, Coral Sword, what are you? Are you better than what I have already? Uh, nope, you're the same. Uh, you are better for him though. It's effective against aquatic enemies, okay. We haven't run into any aquatic enemies, I think. Oh, that's a lot of ogres. Oh no, not one of these. And I can't save. Um, Let's restore HP just in case. I'm running low on spell slots, which kind of scares me. Okay, let's do this, whatever you are. That's just another Earth Elemental. Okay, that's fine. Hey, we leveled up! Ooh! Uh, I still don't want that intellect <laughs> raise, but I'll definitely take the strength increase. Ooh, also for Saran. Amazing. Just great. Okay, I'll take the intellect on Urzen. Oh, also take that on Unfail. Thank you. Finally, some good level ups. Uh, 575. Leather Shield. Does anyone... Don't we already have Leather Shields? I think we do. Oh yeah, we got... Wait. Okay, no one can use shields. I might have to sell those Leather Shields. I don't know why I have so many. 5,000 Gil. Hello? You almost have enough for the armor I wanted to get. Oh, more hill gigas. Hello, you guys. I wonder if there's enemy descriptions in the bestiary. I kind of hope there is, because I would like to know what the heck the the hill gigas are exactly. I feel like I definitely remember seeing them in other RPGs, but I don't remember what they look like in those or any descriptors they might have. Okay, we made it to the third floor. Uh, I don't think I see any more ladders, but I do see a whole bunch of doors. Oh boy. They have enough potions for everyone. Uh, kind of. This will have to do for now.
Oh, sleeping bags. Have we seen sleeping bags before? We have a cottage and sleeping bag. Partially restores the party's HP. A uh, cottage is like the full thing. Yeah, that's what it is. Okay. Uh, have we run into the red slimes? I don't think we have. Hopefully they're not resistant to physical attacks. They're not. Okay, perfect. They do deal decent damage for slime enemies, actually. Oh, we got the, the demons now. Interesting. I don't remember how much HP these guys have, so... I'm just gonna see what happens. Oh, these are new. Cockatrice, hello. We're just fighting wild birds now. Oh no. No. Wait, are they permanently stone now? Oh, thank God. Okay, please tell me they're not permanently stone. Oh, I got two needles. <laughs> Just what I needed. Um, okay. So, definitely use those two gold needles I have. If I can find them. 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 Hello? Am I that blind right now? Yes, I am. It's right here. Okay, so now we know. Don't mess with, don't mess with freaking cockatrices. Also, I've noticed that Seal isn't doing as much damage as a uh, Seren, and the reason for that is because uh, Seren actually gets more hits in than Seal does because uh, they have a higher speed than Seal. Uh, all which is also because Seren is wearing all that weighty armor around them. So that's kind of cool how how weight and things like that affect speed and uh, battle and things like that. One treasure chest and it has a monster. Okay. And that's death. Dang it. I think that's the first time Seals died. Well, I think this is a sign that we need the, the knight armor. Oh, we got a gold needle. I'll take that. Uh, should I use the Phoenix Down, or should I... Let's use the Life, because, I mean, it's not like I'm going to use that spell slot probably ever for anything else. There you go. Back to Life. I'm definitely going to have to leave this dungeon and, and go heal before I... Oh, no. No, no. No, thank you. Oh, thank God. Oh, thank God. Okay. So note to self, cockatrices are fucking fast. Uh, so it might be better to try and kill them? I don't know, honestly. I mean, if they're faster than us, I think it's just better to try and run away because there's that chance that they might, you know, um... Oh! Oh, thank god. Wait, I wanted to fight that! I accidentally hit Y and apparently Y is auto-escape. That makes me so sad. I... I think there was a there were new enemies in that. No. Oh no. No. I think the game auto saves whenever you uh, go up a level, like uh, in a dungeon, go up a floor or something like that. So let me get out of here. Maybe it'll auto save. Yeah, it's saving. Okay, we're good. Okay, at, at least that way we know that, um, you know, we aren't losing progress or anything. I already got everything in here. Okay. Where are we heading next? We have that door over there. And... Oh, how do I get to that? Oh! 
I gotta go through that. Okay. I really hope I run into a, a ghast again. I'm pretty sure I haven't fought a, either a ghast or white before. Okay, so here's this enemy. Um, Lord. Please don't be Stonebergs. Okay, good. Oh, we got a level up. Uh, agility and intellect for Saren. Of course. Uh, stamina. Uh, how do we go from amazing level ups to this trash over here? What do you mean, strength? I hate it here so much. These level ups are going to be gonna make me go insane uh, everyone's fine except for seal so let's do that I wonder if the original game actually had a mini map or is it only a, a pixel remaster thing I feel like it might be a pixel remaster thing only but at the same time I don't know Monsters. Okay, just another one of you guys. Wait, fella's about to die. How did that happen? Okay, seal leveled up, got agility, stamina, and luck. Eh, I'll take those. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and go heal real quick. Uh, actually, no. I'm gonna go up a level, then go back down. Uh, see if I can find those ghasts and whites again. Actually, do I want to do that? Hmm. I might just go to the Beastier and see if I already have them, or if they got saved from me. Uh, um, you know. Now, let's just try and run into them again. Shouldn't take too long, right? We got some raids. I don't think raids have anything special on them, so... Oh, raids can apparently paralyze us. Okay, that's not good. Okay, I couldn't find them, so I'm just gonna have to come back to this at some point. I just realized there's no like actual item shop around here. That's not good. I was planning to buy some status element uh, healing items, but I guess that's not happening. Cause I'm kind of worried that this vampire is gonna have like, I don't know, um, some type of paralyzing attack, like charming attack or something like that. A confusion attack, actually that makes more sense. Hopefully he doesn't, cause I have no no cover-ish for that whatsoever. Oh, I do have enough money for the armor now. Should I go buy that, though? I probably shouldn't, but at the same time, it gives us so much defense, though. Oh, I really want to buy this. If I buy this, I'll have enough uh, money left over for one spell. <laughs> what spells can I get again? I know I can get a bunch of goat ones for... For my white age. Or you got life. I can get Hilara. Mm, or Kuraga. I want to get Hilara. And I'm going to think about the armor for a bit. Because you never know. Maybe that vampire has it for us. Alright vampire. We're coming to hunt you down. I imagine the vampire is weak to fire magic. Right? Because it's a, it's a freaking vampire. Isn't that the normal thing? They're weak to fire. Like all monster things. Oh, ah, oh, dang it. I don't, I was gonna say they're also weak to light magic since they're undead, but I don't have any, I didn't get any light magic attacks for my white mage, dang it. And unfortunately, well, I was gonna say maybe, uh, Kuraga works on them, like, you know, how it works in future games, where if you heal zombies or undead like that, it deals damage to them, but I can't even target, uh, I don't think I can target, uh, enemies with healing magic. So, that plans out the window. I just remembered. I don't think I remembered to save. Oh, that's unfortunate. Cool. I got distracted talking about vampires and weaknesses and stuff. How unfortunate. Very extremely unfortunate. Yep, there he is. Oh boy. Um. Well, here we go. 
I gotta give him a really cool voice since it's a freaking vampire, and vampires are always super cool and hot. But I suck at voices, so we'll see what comes out. Probably just my voice. All things in this world are destined to end in death. The seal cannot be broken, and so the earth shall rot. Oh, that was not what I was expecting you to look like. You cannot alter destiny. Your morals cannot kill the undying. Oh, actually, he doesn't look too bad. Okay, Mr. Vampire, it's time for you to die. Um, I'm gonna use Protect, I think, on my uh, Black Mage. And let's cast Haste on Seren. Since they're like your biggest damage dealer right now. Oh no. That was 100 damage. From a single basic attack. Oh, and they have regen too. Cool. Uh, so I gotta use Protect on myself. Because I'm afraid... Um, her white meat might die. Uh, what else can I do? I can lower evasion for all enemies. Oh, I can raise an allies attack. Okay, do that for Seren. Oh! Never mind. <laughs> it's just that easy. Wow. Okay, that was... That was way easier than I was expecting. Alright, Mr. Vampire. Well, that happened. You obtained the star, Ruby. What? What is that? An enormous red jewel. Cool? I guess. Oh, secret. A stone slab is set in the floor. An evil force seems to em emanate from within. I can't use key items, so... I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. I feel like I'm supposed to bring something over here. But I don't have anything, so... Oh, wait, there's... No, wait, that's the stairs we came from. I mean, we defeated the vampire. Maybe someone in the village has something new to say now. Really wish I had teleport right about now, but... Oh, well, what can you do? I'm really hoping there was nothing to get from the dead ends in this dungeon. Because I just don't feel like checking right now. <laughs> Alright, village. Oh, I just realized I can probably give the the ruby thing to Mr. Giant over there, right? Because it's like a gem. It's a jewel, yeah. Okay, let's go see what that giant has to say to us. Now that we have a nice and shiny rock for him. You have Star Ruby. Give me Star Ruby and I let you pass. Okay. Crunch Munch. Hmm, nothing tastier than rubies. Cool. Oh, he's just gone now. Cool. Uh, encounters on. Oh, cool. Just more wolves. I'm just gonna run away from this. Ooh, we got four chests. Great axe. I don't think anyone can use a great axe, right? Oh, you can, but it lowers your accuracy. Hmm... Let's get that strength up. And can we give you anything else? Uh, not really. I guess you're fine with the Coral Sword for now. And it looks cool, too. 620 gil. 450 gil. Mithril Helm. Ooh. Someone can definitely use that. Uh, it raises your defense and evasion. Are you the only one who can use it? It seems you are. Didn't I just buy the Great Helm as well? Dang it. Can anybody else use the Great Helm? No, they cannot. Of course not. Okay. 
Well, we got a Mithril Hound at least. Oh yeah, Dr. Sada is probably here, right? Or not Dr. Sada, just Sada. There you go. Hmm, I don't know how I feel about this act so far. Because <laughs> the miss on it has been pretty, pretty bad for us. If he lands it, he does pretty good damage, but if he doesn't, he does pretty bad at damage so far. Uh, we're in the Sage's Cave right now. What is this? Okay, nothing in there. Nothing over there. We got a table, a bed. Be nice if I could sleep in this, but apparently we're not that type of protagonist that can just sleep in random people's bed and get full uh, healed fully. Well, I guess we do have a party as well, but I feel like some people still, well, some protagonists still do that where although there's just one bed, they still heal up the full party. So you are the ones who defeated the vampire, eh? He was but a servant. The beast corrupting the earth crystal lurks much deeper within the cavern. Oh, that's why. I was about to say, he's probably that weak because either he's going to get revived or something because, you know, he's an immortal and dead. Or because there's like an actual uh, crater boss, the thing in the slab or whatever. Here, take this staff with you and use it behind the vampire's chamber. You obtained the Earth Rod. Oh, here we go. Time for the big bad boss. Not excited about this one. I imagine this one's gonna actually be hard. I was about to say too, so far the bosses have been pretty easy, but now we're gonna probably deal with uh, big bad boss shenanigans and suffer greatly. Let me go heal and we'll deal with these. And we'll deal with this big bad boss. Oh boy. I do have enough money for the armor still, so I think I'm just gonna get it now. Watch me find it immediately after this, and I'm just gonna be so mad and sad. Knight's armor. What's the description? Armor crafted from steel plate. Give it to me. Oh, it lowers his evasion. But look at that defense. We're so tanky. I think I'm gonna give him the... Actually, which one do you wanna give him? Longsword or Worm Killer? Uh... After seeing how bad things can get with... Actually... The accuracy difference is only 2%, yet it's... Yet it sucks so much using the Great Axe so far. <laughs> I don't know... Hmm... This is... Hmm. Oh, maybe the reason he doesn't do as much damage as, as Saran is because his accuracy is so bad. Oh, maybe that's why. Okay, I think I'm going to use the, the Worm Killer then. I don't need worse accuracy than what we already have. Dang, we're broke again. That's so sad. Wait, I didn't even heal, did I? I don't think I did. Uh, yeah, I didn't. All right, you guys. You better get ready. It's time for a crystal boss, or... Uh, what's the word for it? Uh, I forget. Earth crystal boss. There you go. Just like in the good old Bravely Default days. That unfortunately never happened on the channel, <laughs> because I was still a kid when I was playing through that game. And also because I can't be bothered to try and figure out how to actually play that game on the, like... How to actually record it and everything. Although I love that game and wouldn't mind recording it whatsoever. I don't think I saved again. Dang it. Let me save. Okay, here we go. Oh. There's more? Oh, you suck for this. I sh oh, boy. Okay. Oh, there's so much more. Oh, 
Oh no, not the stone birds. Why? Why are you like this? Please no. Please no. Oh, there it is. Please one of you give me a, a golden needle. Nope. Okay. Gotta waste a single needle I have. If I can find it. Yep, I do. Monsters, cool. Oh, hello, Hyenadon? Hyenadon? Cool. Oh, an ogre mage. What? Okay, definitely take care of you first, because I feel like you have, um, what Jima call it? Uh, 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 AOE, there you go. Oh, for some reason he chose to <laughs> perform a physical attack. Really? Just a staff? Like a regular old staff? You suck for that. Okay, more of these things. Hey, we got a level up, and of course it's bad. Okay, luck increase. Oh no. Okay, I'll take that. At least someone got something good. Still sucks though. More money. More monsters. Oh, a sphinx? Oh my gosh. Oh wait, this these things can poison us. Oh no. Well, we have plenty of antidotes. We should be fine. Oh wait, aren't these things specialized in magic? Isn't that the whole deal with Sphinx? I think it is. Good thing none of them have used magic so far. Also, it seems like they have more than 200 HP. No, actually they have probably 200 HP. Yeah, probably 200 HP. Uh, ooh. Uh, I don't want the intellect, but I'll take the strength. More money. Uh, HP, we're doing all right. And more monsters, cool. More Sphinx. Oh, we got trolls now, too. <laughs> why do they look so insane? Also, why why are they ripped? Since when do we have ripped trolls? First it was the Gigas Hills with those freaking pecs. Now we got these things out here. Insane. The enemy designers behind FF1 were wild. Okay, that ogre mage is kind of insane, because not only does it have um, darkness, it also has uh, sleep on it. Really wish we could use those tent items uh, in dungeon right now. That would be real helpful. This better not be an another ambush. Okay, good. Because we just got ambushed, like, like so many times. Oh my gosh, a mitral shield? I don't think we've gotten that before, have we? 
Uh, it is better than what we have. Okay, I'll take that. And more money. I'll take that. Okay. I'm really hoping this is the last floor. Because the recording time is about up. Hey. Oh, no. I was about to be happy that we leveled up, but... Of course, it's another bad level up. Unfortunate, as always. Uh, oh boy. Another bad one. Even worse. Actually, that one wasn't worse, but it was still bad. Oh, I hate you. How much more? Uh, nothing over there. Wait, there's only one thing to do. Hmm. This might be the end. Alright, I guess this is the end, right? Uh, let's heal up. There we go. And get into this. Oh, what are you? Let me fully heal just in case. There we go. And let's see what's up. <laughs> Who speaks to me? Oh, is it Garland? No, it, it's like a like a lich. I am he who feeds on the power of Earth. I will not be disturbed by mortal man. I am the li lich. Sorry, <laughs> I am the lich, fiend of Earth. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Hello. This was not what I was expecting for the the boss thing of the Earth Crystal. I was expecting something more earthy, I guess. <laughs> This music though. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, this thing probably has death, doesn't it? Oh no. Please don't have death. Oh no, 23 damage. Hold. Oh dang it, I should have gotten. Oh no. I should have gotten Dia. Well, I do still have Dia on me, but mm, I don't know how much it'll help us in this. Because it's level 1 Dia of all things. Eighty-eight, I'll have to take that. Oh, it has Dendara too. <gasps> okay, that was a lot of damage. Okay, but that was a crit. That's good, right? We're betting everything on crits with Saren right now. Please luck. Please come through for us right now. Hmm. Would this thing be weak to fire? Maybe? Please? Oh, it is! <gasps> Perfect. Just what I wanted. Oh my gosh. We're leaving everything to you, Seren, right now. You're our MVP right now. Because Sio is freaking paralyzed, like always. Of course, not like always, but you know what I mean. Uh, let's cast Protect on Seren as well, since we're <laughs> betting everything on them. And keep on using Fyra. Oh my gosh, really? Thank you, Seren and Fel. And Erzin, the MVPs of the squad, because Sio did literally nothing this match. <laughs> I cannot believe our our tank was so useless this match. So far, I will say that Sio has definitely been the most useless team member on the squad, because all they have going for them is their um, defense. Like, their damage isn't bad. The thing is that they still don't deal as much damage as Seren, since Seren has crits and like agility to perform multiple attacks. And they also have strength, uh, which is what makes them so incredible. I feel like Seal's probably gonna become better, 
later on, maybe? When he's gonna be, like, the only one surviving AoEs. Uh, and bringing everyone back up with Phoenix Downs and things like that. But right now, <laughs> he is not putting in too much work. Uh, so I just realized, that sounds like I'm talking about myself, doesn't it? Since, they, <laughs> since I named him CEO. Oh well, whatever. Uh, agility and stamina. You couldn't get a strength increase. Well, that's our very first crystal. <gasps> oh my gosh. Yay! The power of friendship. This is the altar of Earth from which the power of Earth flows forth. Is this an exit? <gasps> Please tell me. Yes! All I could have asked for. Well. Actually, I gotta go to the village to heal. So, let me go do that. And after that, I'll probably end off the episode. How much money do we have? Oh, we're back to where we started again. <laughs> Hi, hilarious. Uh, it, was there any spell I wanted? Actually, I kind of want to get a Dia something <laughs> after dealing with that. Uh, I could either get Diaga. I got Healera. Got life for some reason. I don't know if I actually want life though. I think I might take off life. Because I mean, we got Phoenix Downs. I don't know why I got life. Why did I get life? Oh, because we didn't have. Yeah, that's why. Because we we didn't have much choice, and it was like we're not gonna use level five slots probably for a while. But yeah, okay. Let's get Kuraga. Let's forget, uh, life. Although I'm probably gonna need it, since I still haven't spent money on, uh... Whatchamacallit, uh... Freaking... Phoenix Downs. And let's get the Aga. What black spells can I get again? I don't think there were any good ones, right? Oh yeah, we can get tele... Yeah, but I can't get it. Uh, ooh, slower would be good. Okay, I'm getting Fyraga. Slower. And we're waiting on teleport. Maybe. I'm thinking about it. Okay. With that, we're gonna end off today's episode. Today was definitely a... A very... What's the word for it? I honestly can't think of the word. A, a very successful episode, let's say that. We got a whole bunch of things done. We finally opened the channel and got to explore the rest of the world. We're no longer locked into that small body of water we were in before. We made it to this town and fought a vampire and saved our very first crystal. And now I have no idea what we're going to do, but I'm going to talk to some people next episode and probably find out what I'm supposed to do. So yeah. Definitely a fun episode. Glad we got to save our very first crystal. So excited about that. Uh, looking forward to wherever we're heading next. I uh, have no idea where we could be heading next. Uh, but we got a couple clues. We got Dr. Whatever over there. We got the elf over here. And we still have a bunch of key items that I don't really know what to do with. So yeah. Things are looking uh, nice and adventurous for us still. I wonder, I wonder how, when we're going to get teleport. Hopefully we get that next episode. Also looking forward to level six spell slots. Oh wait, we're almost done with spell slots. We're almost, oh wait, no we have, oh wow, are we over leveled? Because we have level six spell slots unlocked, but we don't actually have any level six spell slots. Interesting. But yeah, we're almost done with our spell list as well. Level 8 is the highest we can get. That's cool. Um, I wonder if we have summons in this game. I doubt it, but it'd be cool if we did. Uh, but anyways, aside from that, enough recapping and stuff like that and ranting on. I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode and look forward to the next one. Because it'll probably be an exciting one after now that we saved our very first crystal. Aside from that, I'll see you next time. Bye!